Well, it's another wonderful day in Jacksonville, Florida. Overcast, of course, dreary, and I'm freezing. It's about 40 degrees this morning. I'm up here in the boat pulling leaves out from the little Tweety birds that love to build their nests up in my boat port here and they leave all kinds of little twigs and leaves behind. Let's go talk about some buck knives. How about that? Because I've been up early and I have been putting an edge on a new buck that I'm going to show you. It's turning out good. All right, well, I'm going to show you a vintage buck 111. Not a 110, but a 111, 111. I'm just finishing up right now on these lapping films. And if you don't think that literally these right here are 14,000 grit, which equates to one micron. And look, it takes off steel. And I'm pretty much done. because So this is a real collector's item here. This is the Buck 111. All like scroll worked aluminum. Very, very light. Very, very light. And it has this spot here where uh, many of them are engraved. That's, I believe, the reason Buck sort of came out with this. You can see the Tang stamp. It's the old, uh, what would you say, kind of cursive looking Buck. And it's dot, one, 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 and then dot, dot, USA. The reason I really wanted this is because of the fact that this is an 8081, and 81 is when I graduated high school, and I wanted to have one of these. Aluminum makes this thing just so light, and that's what I was kind of concentrating a lot of my collection on, is light bucks like a carbon fiber, I've got titanium. So it's got a really polished blade. I don't know what case came in it. It might have been one of those leather cases. I think I saw on eBay one of the leather cases that this would go in that's got all the scroll work on the leather. And the guy wanted $94 just for the case. For that kind of money, I'll just rotate it around in one of my just favorite cases, which is this colored one, this colored buck. I've been using this one for a lot of knives. But that is the Buck 111. You don't see much of this anywhere on YouTube. Back in those 80s there, this swedge right here is way more prominent on the older buck blades. Okay, I'm going to show you another one that was an absolute steal on eBay. And this is a buck custom. It's got the buck stamp it's got the buck stamp with an anvil underneath it with USA and I believe this makes this one it's a possibility it makes this one a 2014 now what is unique about this buck well it's got the black oxide coated blade it's got the black blade. It's got white G10 and brass bolsters. 
I kind of have a thing for black blades because when you go to put the edge on them, it really stands out. And I got a mirror edge on this one, as you can see. If you look real close, custom knife shop. So this was a custom uh, buck, I guess around 2014. Let me show you the differences in the blades. 2000s, mid 2000s, early 80s. Now, let's set these side. Okay, I'm going to set them side by side here the best I can. The same length. This swedge at the top on this one is longer the nail neck seems to be back a little bit it's very hard to tell this blade is way more kind of swoopy than this one now let's take a look at comparisons to just the Buck Classic. And I believe this is a late 2000s Buck Classic. Just the, the dark ebony wood, which is so nice. It has a hint of a little lighter wood grain right there. So let's take a look at these two. For some reason, this 111 still looks like it's got a little bit different swoop of the of this swedge up here. This is sort of being my EDC believe it or not. I like, I really like this G10 on this one. This was all put together by, you know, the custom shop with the black blade and the uh, white G10. You can go on Buck's website and spec out all their custom builds. People get the custom builds and then what do they do? They practically double the price and then put, sell them on eBay. For closing, there's two for the collection. And this one right here, you don't see any of them on YouTube. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. But right there, in tiny, tiny little scroll work, right there. It says Buck. That's the only name that should ever be in the side of this, is in my opinion. Because as soon as you put, you know, um, Joseph or Jim Bob or anything in the in there, and then you want to sell it, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to be. I don't want Jim Bob's knife. This one is brand new. Brand new. So, thanks for watching. I mentioned that I was going to do something on a, on this week. And I just wanted to show you basically these two. See you on the next one.